Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 47 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Uh, today, I've got a little bit of stuff to do. So, uh, I'm making a solenoid, because uh, that's going to do that. And then we need some kind of motor, it looked like. Maybe this one? Yeah, it looks like the thing we need. Ding, ding. Thanks. Appreciate it, Chief. Also, ding, ding. Yay! Cool. Uh, we're starting chapter three of the main quest line today. I'm interested to see where we go. I'd love to get into some Tech Reborn stuff. Uh, the rolling machine would be awesome. Uh, I know that's something that we're heading towards, right? Um, so we need some steel plates. We need some linear actuators, which doesn't look too bad. Carmesine and Joxum, I think we can do that. Man of Steel Gears, 60k coolant. Only need some ovium and some vanadium plates. That looks doable, right? CPU core, not a terrible thing. Advanced control circuit servo mechanism. I mean, totally super doable. And I'm hoping we get it early on in the quest line here. Um, Cause that would be nice, right? Cause, cause like that's the core we need. That's the cool. And so like, so I suspect that this is the start, right? So maybe we should uh, do some stuff. So I need uh, water cells. Six sound right, maybe? I think that sounds right. 60K coolant, yeah, I think that means it's six. Cool. And one of these days I'm gonna run out of snow and then yell at myself for not having gotten more, but you know, bridges and all that, we'll cross them when we get to them. So I just need a vanadium plate. It should be lickety split. You can hear my sawmill cooking in the background. Oh, you're chopping up oak wood, aren't you? Yeah, so what do you do? Oh, you're making that. Is that why you've been running for so long? You derpy, derpy machine. Can I convert you back? Can I turn you back into oak wood? Because that would be cool. Can I do that somehow? I mean, stairs can do it. That's interesting. Meh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's just wood. Remember, we have an unlimited amount of it. I was processing a lot and then just kind of forgot. Oh well, life goes on. So that's cool. All right, so that should be a done vanadium plate. Thank you. And I cooked up some more paper with the sawdust I was making before. Nice, so there's your 60K coolant. Ding, not too shabby. Uh, then we need one of you. Now we may or may not have this core in the middle here. We don't, so you are that. Easy peasy. Look at all these quests I'm knocking out like nobody's business. Sweet, now you want me to make a wrench. I can do that maybe. I can do that. I may or may not have already done that. I don't know. Look at it. Complete all the quests. Loving it. Okay, put you away and you, vanadium, vanadium, more of you, diamond, sure. All right. So that's well on my way, I think, if I'm not mistaken, towards what I need to get. Second jetpack components. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should look at that. I mean, I mean, wow, that's a lot of things. Majestic ingots. I need to make those now. I guess we're getting to the point where we can do that, right? Uh, jetpack, huh? I guess that's the second jetpack. I remember like the tier one, the leadstone jetpacks, they're really slow and painful, right? But this, yeah, that looks, uh, that's absolutely it. We skipped the first jetpack because because I noped out of the of the crafting recipe. Maybe I'll work on it between episodes. But hey, look, rolling machine. That's exactly what I wanted. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. So I need, uh, looks like 16 steel. Getting rolled up. I thought I still had my steel on me. Oh, well. Cool. You go in there and start doing that thing. Uh, we're going to need two mana steel gears. I don't think I'm... Eh, I've got enough mana for one mana steel. Yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do? Get some more mana going. I just made a bunch. Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to craft over here. I just made a bunch. And I mean a bunch of uh, of Terra Steel. How am I for Terra Steel? Forty two Terra Steel, dude. That's awesome. I had no idea I had that much. Every now and then, like between episodes, I'm just like, oh look, my mana pool's full. I usually make four or five at a time. I haven't realized I've made that much. That is pretty awesome. That is super kind of cool. I was not aware. All right. So two mana steals. One, two. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Now I need a blazing electron tube. I need two linear actuators. Wow, I don't have anything for those. 
Ah, uh, that actually I'm close to. We just need the Ferroboron, right? And the Copper Gear. So Steel, we've got in our inventory still. Okay. Let's just induction smelt a little bit of this stuff. Cool. You're still, you're done compacting? Nice. Okay, cool. So that'll get me the servo mechanism I need. That doesn't look too terrible. Uh, I need the advanced doohickey right there. Okay, getting close. So if I'm not mistaken, it's just these three at the top, right, that I'm missing? Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's see what's involved in getting two of these and one of these, right? So I need some Karmacine. Now, can you be... You can. Nice. Nice. And Joxum. Good. You can probably also be... Yes. So you can be tripled. You can both be tripled. So I ran into this issue last time I wanted to do this. Uh, long story short, I need to do this. Actually, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, you, sir, are still doing your thing. Right. So last time I wanted to, like, on-demand use this ore tripler, right? I had to throw some speed upgrades into these things just to help them out a little bit. Okay. And uh, give me a minute. I do want to totally process this Karmacine uh, and this Joxum. So I'll be back in a moment once that's done going through my tripler. Because those things are... They're not super rare, but they're rare enough that I don't want to waste any if I can. So I absolutely want to run this through my war tripling machine. All right, I think we've got enough for now to at least make what we need to make. I was smelting more Joxum up here. Sweet. Oh, it's raining. Ugh, I hate the rain. Also, uh, a few other things we're going to need, but let's get this out of the way first. So we're going to need... Really? We're out of sticks again? Killing me. Killing me. Uh, well, that's a good saw that I could use. I could probably use a diamond saw, right? We could get away with that. Probably. Probably. That's what we want. Sweet. Okay. That, and then I need the piston. Okay, so I just need another iron thingy. Let's get, because I'm always using these, let's just get a few, right? More than one. That shouldn't be too bad. So there's your two pistons that we need for the linear actuator. There's your two copper. And then we need more ferroboron, right? So that shouldn't be too bad. I need more steel, too. That's something I really should look into making more of. I wonder if I can steal through mechanism. So there's the industrial blast furnace. It's an option. It takes 20 seconds to cook. Uh, not too bad. We could also go arc furnace, or we could upgrade our blast furnace, too. Because this guy's, you know, slowly but surely producing steel for me, but not in a particularly fast way. So, meh. You know. All right, so there's your one, two linear actuators. So that should be everything for the rolling machine except the blazing electron tube. Now we made a thermionic fabricator, didn't we? We did, that was a recent quest. Where do I wanna put that bad boy? Now well, we can throw him down here, I guess. I don't see why not. Let's get some uh, basic universal cable. No, we really only have the advance. That's right, I burned up a whole lot of this stuff last episode, didn't I? Uh, two steel plates and a red alloy ingot. Good. Let's get... Mm, eight steel plates. Seems like a good number. Um, and then in addition to that, we're gonna do... Oh, we do have some basics in here. Well, that's cool. Should still make a few more, though, because, you know... So we'll put that many, and then we'll put the eight in there, and that should be cool. So you're going to hook me up with just a little bit more silicone, right, buddy? Reservoir. Silicone. Wow, I should probably make more silicone, huh? 
probably. Well, we'll make more in a bit. Let's just get this cooked up. You, you. So then what we're gonna want in there, right, is a piece of glass. And we're gonna want, for blazing electron tube, this is the standard recipe, so one, two, three, four, five, and two redstone. So you can go in and melt. And that should be that, right? So now you're gonna heat up. Bada bing. You're gonna make my electron tube nice and quick. And then I'm gonna turn the machine off so that it doesn't drain power. Remember, this is one of the few machines that will constantly drain power. But by doing that, and you break the recipe, the heat should start going down and we're no longer using RF, right? Wow, that uses a lot of RF, 1100 RF a tick. Is that really the input? That's cool, actually. That's neat. But what should happen is this thing should drop and then this liquid glass should disappear and then we're not using power anymore. Nice. So no more power use from that dude. And it's the longest rainstorm ever. But we've got the rolling machine, which is cool. Bada bing, bada boom. That opens up a lot of good stuff for us, actually. Like, a lot of good stuff. That is really a nice upgrade. Um, I haven't been using this crusher hardly at all anymore, so I'm going to replace you here. Now, are you getting power? Yay! Yay, you are. That's what's up. That is fixed. Glad to hear it. Sand and... Uh, right, so that's an induction smelter recipe, right? Uh, block of coal and eight sand. So if I got a stack of sand and coal. I want more silicon bowls, please. Meanwhile, we've got the rolling machine. That's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. Configure slots. Nice. Machine upgrade. Show recipes. This is what gives us access to quite a few things. Um, not least of which is refined obsidian and glowstone ingots. Both of which we've frequently seen as gates. It's also a cheaper recipe for uh, buckets. Um, it's a cheaper recipe for quite a few things, actually. Um, all around a nice nice thing to have, right? Cheaper recipe for steel rods. Um, cool. I'm very pleased with this. I'm very happy to have this right now. Um, I'm very, very pleased. Cheaper recipe for empty cells, no doubt, right? So if we got 410, let's try it out, right? I thought it would be uh, super cool. There we go. Nice. And that's going to be 24 empty cells. Remember, you got 4 for 410 before. Now we're getting 24 for 410. Like, dudes. All right. Let's see what's in our future now. So I know I need a tin tank. That might be exactly enough. Oh yeah, dark and math. Hooray, tin tank. That's actually not a terrible thing to get, because you know what? I've been making more of this fluid essence, and I've not been saving it. I should. I'm just saying. Can I void you if I decide I want to? Yeah. No, it still has the essence in it. It's just invisible. Okay. Interesting. The more silicon bulls. Thank you very much. Nice. I'll let this all process out and eventually turn into more hardened glass. So with that made, right, um, that leads to, it wants me to make ender ingots. You want two of these? That's easy enough to make. I only made just two a minute ago. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy. Hey, did that get me majestic ingots? It did. Sweet. And more hardened glass. I don't mind that. In fact, a couple platinum too is nice. So a majestic ingot, right? So we've seen these for quite a few things. Though that didn't unlock any further recipes. Uh, this looks like an optional chest line all the way up here. So let's follow this one. Tier 5 solar is what you want me to make next, huh? So to make a tier 5 solar, uh, we need a rune of summer. We need some empowered emeratics. We need a tier 4 solar. We need some alumite plates. We need some osram blocks. None of this looks particularly hard. We do need some refined glowstone plates, but we just had, you know, got a way to get those, right? So we need five of these, right? So where are we at with photovoltaics? Because I know we have a few extras. Remember, didn't I make a few extras? Kind of-ish by mistake. Kind of-ish. Kind of-ish. 
So I'm going to need two gold plates. So let's make four gold plates. All right, and then the two makes a three, and then the three makes a four. And then the four makes a five. So which one do I need for this? So I need the three. Okay. So we're actually not too bad here. So that's one set and that's two sets, but we really only need five of these, right? So I need, uh, I'm going to need 15 refined glowstone. Is that math correct? Yes, 15 refined glowstone and more hardened glass. And we're going to need actually a lot of this, aren't we? We're going to need 10 of these. Okay, that's not so bad, actually. Sweet. So refined glowstone, uh, which can be made in the compactor, by the way, the, 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 that part of it. So it's mana steel or uh, osmium. I guess I'd go with osmium at this point, right? So I need 15 of that and 15 of this. Right? Because uh, osmium we have quite enough of. So we just do this and we do this and you should be working. Nice. Now, did we have any speed upgrades from Tech Reborn? I feel like we did. I feel like we had them. They're called overclocker upgrades, aren't they? Yeah, they are actually not hard to make. They are really not hard to make. Do we have insulated copper cable? We do-ish. Do I still have those cells on me? I do. So let's get... Twelve sound cool. Sweet, overclocker upgrades. Don't mind if I do. Four of them, perfect. So if I put you in there, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Blinking, you might miss it. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. Can we have other machines that work that quickly? Because that would be awesome. I would like all my machines to operate at that speed, please. Okay, so the other things we're going to need is uh, two advanced doohickeys here, right? Uh, we're going to need another one of these. Easy enough. A rune of summer, which we might have, and if not, we can probably get. Uh, we're going to need the rune of earth and air. All my runes might be outside. Rune of earth and air. Got a rune of hey, a rune of summer. Sweet. Never mind. We do have a rune of summer. There you go. All right. I knew we'd have some laying around somewhere. Curious what the RF protect of this is gonna be, right? Um, so then we need emeratics. So what we'll probably want is a block of emerald, and we'll we'll do the thing, All right? So if you want you to upgrade. We're gonna need a Terra Steel block, a Blood Infused Glowstone, right? So that's gonna be nine of you. Okay. And then uh, the Terra Steel block, Redstone and Inert Iron. So Iron, Redstone. There you go. Glad I've been making this all along, huh? I'll get this stuff together and be right back. All right, looking good. So let's pop down into our basement, give this guy a shot. So you should go there, the emeraldite goes there, the terra steel goes here. I'm glad, I'm very glad, that I've been uh, focusing so hard on making sure I've got uh, lots of terra steel. Every time I get the chance, I go ahead and make it. And I'm, I'm very pleased with that, actually. It was a good call. So what's this thing gonna give me? Uh, 512 R of a tick from just solar is not bad at all. Not even a little bit bad. And this recipe is not terrible. Definitely not terrible. All right, so I think I needed two of those, right? Okay, cool. Then we needed an Osram block, which I'm pretty sure we've got some Osram. Wow, we don't have as much as I thought we did. Where's Osram come from? There it is, Osram ore. Sweet. And I'm assuming that you can process in the ore tripler. And again, it's a, I've got a lot of these things, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, 
it's going to be a little bit of a backstuffing issue. Uh, I don't want to manually have to deal with this, but I think I'm going to have to. What I'm going to have to do is take this out, take all this out, and then let it process, and then deal with these excess clumps later. So these two can go in here at least. This is usually how I do it, just not as terribly. So you guys need to go in the enrichment chamber, huh, when you're done? Okay. Not too bad. I think what I'll do is just put you guys in here, and I'll process you later, right? At some point, I should look at upgrading these dudes, which shouldn't be too hard, right? So there's tin in the... Uh, not, nah, I guess you could process your vanadium that way. Does vanadium work in here? It does appear to, yeah. So I guess we'll process the vanadium that way, sure. Not a big deal. And that'll get me some more Osram. Nice. Okay, then I needed a few Alumite plates, and we should be pretty close. Sweet. Back in a minute. All right, so to make more Alumite, I think I need to bauxite in here, if I'm not mistaken, with a bunch of this. And that should industrial electrolyzer? Oh, okay, cool. Now the question is, can I beg, borrow, and steal these guys for a minute? To make this a little less painful. Yeah, that ain't so bad. I feel like that's definitely a better use of those things. Right? Because that's... Ooh, that's a lot. So what are we using here? Input rate, 8,192 RF attack. That can't be right. Because there's no way you're transferring that into this. Right? I mean, that can't be right. Can it? Where's my advanced universal? That's 5,000 RF attack. Yeah, that can't be right. I think that's that's the amount that it's allowed to accept, but not how much it's currently using. Oh well. It's all good. That should get us some more aluminum, because I need more alumite. This is all the alumite I've got. Right, I need a little bit more, and then we'll be cool. Okay, now hopefully you get me something cool besides aluminum. You also get small piles of titanium, hydrogen cells, and compressed air. Neat, I guess. Cool. Oh, right, so I forgot. In these machines, when you put the upgrades in, the overclock upgrades, it doesn't take effect until the next iteration. So watch this. That's a little bit better, right? That's definitely better. So I'm starting to think solar might be, like, really nice in this pack. You know, come to think of it. So what do we got here? There's your four. Because check this out, right? So now I should have everything I need to make the five. Boom, that's what's up. Right? Now the five produces 512 RF a tick. Now if I were to upgrade that for the same photovoltaic cells, right, that I just made, uh, two diamantine electron tubes, not a big deal, uh, calculation processor which we made before, the majestic ingot that we just got, a fractum block which we've made before, empowered diamantine gear, not a big deal, iridium. All right, so I need iridium in order for this to happen, but I assume that's coming soon because the chapter mentioned it in a little bit of platinum. Well, that'll make 2048 RF a tick. 2048 RF a tick is, it's a lot. Like, that's a real lot, you know? Um, so, I mean, you know, 512 RF a tick, 2048 RF a tick, like, that's pretty good stuff, dude. Um, I'm just saying, like, that might be a really powerful and not terribly expensive option, right? Um, so now over here, you guys are running, right? And you're just running all the time. Is that right, Mr. Ethylene Generator? I mean, you're basically running for free, right? There's absolutely nothing that I have to give you by way of fuel. So I think, I think we're fine to just leave this as is. I was, I was debating whether I wanted to set up some kind of like turn on and off type system, uh, for the ethylene and like make solar the priority. But since, since the ethylene is just basically, like I said, running for free, there's no reason... There's no reason to do that, right? Does that make sense? I think so. I think that makes sense. So you get to work, do your thing. Sweet. I don't really need you guys there anymore, so I'm going to put you back in the rolling machine for now, but I'll just alternate you as needed. Good times. Uh, so we got more pulverized aluminum, which is nice. I could smelt that if I wanted to nice and quick. And hey, while I'm at it, collect some of that essence. Nice. 
At some point, I made these speed upgrades. I forget when it was. It's not drastic. Better than nothing, though. Better than nothing. All right. So now we made our solar panel, right? Which was a quest complete for us. Yay, and we got some runes. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, and platinum coins. Yay, all the cool stuff. All right. So now that you're all good, so where does this go from here? Elite energy cube. I've totally made one of those, haven't I? Yeah, I don't know. Please don't tell me I have to make that. Is that an optional? Yay, it's an optional. Good. Reinforced alloy and then iridium. So reinforced alloy is going to give us access to iridium, right? So that's just enriched alloy with the diamond dust stuff, right? And enriched alloy is just steel. So let's see what we got by way of alloys here. Hey, actually, we have two reinforced. Sweet. Hooray! And that gave me an iridium ingot. That's nice. That's cool. So now the quest to make iridium. It's a rare and mid and late game metal. You can be found this mainly in dungeons, but later there will be difficult and complex ways to produce these ingots. Luckily, you got one from the quest before. Why, yes, I did. All right, so you want me to iridium plate it up? I mean, if you say so, quest. Right? So iridium comes from what? Um, there's iridium ore, so that's a thing. Both from tech reborn and thermal. Or, so UU matter is going to be the way to make this, or fusion. Okay. Or the chemical combiner. Once we get to that stage. Essence of the gods and thermoconducting alloy. Good times. I'm looking forward to some of the shenanigans that's coming up. Because it looks like they're pretty shenanigan me. Lots and lots of shenanigans to be done soon. So that leads to the elite control circuit. Uh, it's definitely better to make them in the carpenter, right? So that requires an iridium plate. Oh my. Um, so I don't have crystal teen access just yet, right? Empowered diamond team, platinum, and dirium, and a copper singularity. You only need 2,500 copper to make that, so that's not a big deal. I'm only half kidding about that. It's not that much. It's not that, not that small, but not that much at the same time. So if I made this with the boosting mixture, I'd get three of these dudes. I think that's, I think that's a valid use for boosting mixture, because I don't know that I have a way of making iridium right now. To my knowledge, I don't have a way currently to make iridium. Like, the quest line gave it to me. I don't know if I have a way to make it. Um, I'm just saying. So, I should probably use my boosting mixture on this. So, what do we need to use this for? Lots of things. Lots of things. But you want me to make... Oh, the chemical combiner is coming up next. Okay. That's cool. I didn't know we were getting into that mod just yet. I was not aware we were doing that just yet, but that's neat. Okay. I'm very interested now. You've got my attention, sir. Let's make this. Uh, so I'm going to make it with the boosting mixture. How much boosting mixture do I have left? And how possible is it to make right now? Because this stuff is actually really useful. Um, it's the alchemical imbuer of raw boosting mixture, which we know is a combination of blood from evil craft or life essence from alchemical wizardry and dark magic essence, right? So five buckets and two buckets. And dark magic essence comes from dark magic dust, which is not terrible to make, right? So 100% doable, this part of it. But then we have to imbue it with either Lumix, Veolium, or Naquita. So I have no idea where this stuff comes from, right? It's an alloy of Terax and Palladium. Terax is an alloy of those three, and palladium. Don't we have palladium? We do. We found that in the end. Remember? Aha. So, technically boosting is craftable right now. We'd have to go find more palladium, but once we found some, because we found it in the end, remember? And I needed my cool pickaxe to do it. Where did I put that cool pickaxe? I'm sure I have it somewhere in here. There it is. The Dionite pickaxe. Yeah. That is doable. Okay, just wanted to note that I do have the way to get more of that stuff. So let's make our elite control circuit, right? Um, so for that, uh, we just need some of you. Where are you at, buddy? This thing smelted. Okay. 
Um, and then I'm gonna need two compressed diamonds, boop, boop, in the down here thingy, enrichment chamber, right? Okay, and while that's cooking, we're also going to need two advanced, I need more of these. How am I on these guys? Not terrible. Enough that I can get one? Probably. Uh, so I need... Terra Steel will get me three. So will Advanced Alloy Ingots get me three. I don't, don't want to use Platinum if I don't have to. So yeah, I'll go this route, right? So the advanced alloy ingots, gold and circuit and plate. Right? Okay, uh, so that's that, 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 and that. And then uh, you need what? Super glue? So let's get our reservoir. Transfer our silicon out. I thought I had a tank around here. It can be silicon. Sure. And then super glue. Boop, boop. And you should be cooking now? I feel like you have everything you need. Oh, four gold. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Nice. I should make a batch of those, but I really want to knock this out, and then we'll make more in a bit. Fair? I think that's fair. Cool. Okay. So then, what else do I need? Two reinforced alloys, and that's about it. Okay. So that should be done. Right? That should be cool. You should be cooking now, right? Oh, and the iridium plate. Now you're cooking? Iridium plate, two of those, two of those, and the silicon-y thingy. There you go. Boom! Nice. All right. Save this boosting mixture, because remember, I want to use that for the 64K uh, storage devices if I can. Can totally double that with a boosting mixture. I'm just saying. <laughs> Quest complete! Hooray! That got me some stuff. Nice. Okay. So with that, good. Now we can get into chemical combiners. This is interesting. You guys haven't seen this on the YouTubes yet. Uh, I've played with this on my stream. There was a pack I played that had this mod in it, the Alchemistry mod. Pretty interesting mod. Uh, basically, you can break down items into elements, and then you can combine those elements in other ways. So you can do some pretty interesting stuff with it. It's almost equivalent exchangey, but not quite as OP, right? Um, because there's many different elements, right? So some of the elements, you know, you can get from interesting ways. Like, for example, um, you know, you can get carbon by breaking down cellulose, and cellulose you can get from wood, right? And then you can combine that carbon... Um, in a chemical binder to make charcoal or coal or carbon dust or carbon ingots or all kinds of other interesting things, right? So it's kind of cool. It looks like a complex recipe though. Not too bad, not too bad. So here's another thing I'm gonna do. I'll wrap up the episode here and we'll come back next episode. And I'll get cooking on all this stuff. So I need an empowered void plate. That doesn't look so bad. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Do we have some empowered void? We have eight of them. Is that how many I need? Because that would be super useful. Dude, that's exactly what I need. Sweet. Sweet. Do the thing, guys. Do the thing. All right. See, I'll work on this between episodes. I should have more Osram downstairs, because that's what I did over here, right? Yep. Nice. And uh, what we'll wind up doing is making this between episodes, right? He says as he's in the middle of crafting. And we'll come back next time and have a little bit more fun playing with this stuff. I'm interested to see where this leads because this could be really powerful. That's all I'm saying. But for now, Doll 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. For now, take it easy.